Welcome to VR Verdict episode 115, our weekly podcast where we talk about everything VR. I am PJ. I think I'm Wookie. I hope you're Wookie. <laughs> and we would like to share VR with you. <laughs> so we were going to have Big Planet Games on, but they haven't shown up. So we're just going to get rolling. If they pop in, awesome. If not, we'll talk about Ultra Wings 2 anyway. <laughs> so, uh, people are yeah. busy. Yeah, the world is constant, that's for sure. <laughs> and time zones suck, and yeah. waking up is hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> We've that's all been me. there. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, their game, Ultra Wings 2, just came out. It's on Steam VR. Uh, they have cross-buy for the Oculus platform, so PC VR and Quest. It's $24.99. A lot of improvements, a lot of additions to the first game, which I'm sure everyone's at least tried, if not own. Quite an upgrade, quite a sequel, I think, so far. And their multiplayer is is in early access. Wick and I tried it last night. Didn't have much luck getting in the same room, so we can't really talk about that yet. But uh, yeah, it, it seemed smooth and cool. Like it was <laughs> just slow enough to feel like tactics matter you know like like yeah. your, your plane's moving quick but it's not too scaled in i was sitting there getting ready like this is gonna be hard because it's not just like <laughs> arcadey where you just go boop and you disappear and you're you know like gta and off the screen it's literally like if i don't do this right i'm just gonna be a sitting duck <laughs> it's like this yeah. is good and you know from the video and stuff there's a lot of new modes they've added weapons they've added handguns um so your your point to tacticalness oh. Like, it is slower and, and more realistic, which I dig. So you can shoot balloons and targets. And I saw a flare on there, and you're shooting that. Do you literally shoot handguns out of that? Out of something? Yeah, you, yeah, you, you pick, just like, um, uh, what's the other game, Warplanes? You have a handgun on the side in, in your cockpit. That's a flare gun, though. There is a handgun, too, though. Okay. Just yeah, a, it's the, flip, the clip that it's showing me now, it's probably not synced up, but uh, you're shooting something like a grenade handgun or something. I was sitting there like, is that really yeah. a handgun? Because that would be hilarious. Because <laughs> in uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, Porco Rosto, there's a part where they're, <laughs> they're flying like side by side and their guns are both jammed. I think it's towards the end of the movie. And then you just hear like a pop. And the American yeah. uh, is just. <laughs> <laughs> Which his name is Curtis, but the name of his plane is also Curtis. <laughs> but uh, um, Americans. But you know the the Yankee they keep calling him. You just see them like with his own little <laughs> cowboy revolver, like pop, pop, and you're like, what are you gonna hit with yeah. that? And like, <laughs> oh, we were party watching that on online, and we fucking lost it. That was just funny. I love that part. Yeah, I <laughs> forgot that happened. And we were like, what's that little propeller for? I looked it up later on Porco Rosso's plane. That you, those usually power electric just by the wind pushing that prop. I'm like, oh, that's a nice. really good idea. Genius <laughs> people. Yeah. And then that pop, just like, pep, and it's like completely <laughs> pointless. <laughs> like, yeah. So funny. <laughs> so, yeah, they have added... Um... I played quite a bit of the first one. I don't think I got through the whole thing, but um, I know there was like the little gyrocopter, which you start in here, but I think the helicopters and things are new additions. I could be wrong, so don't take my word for it, unfortunately. It's been a while since I played the new one, and uh, or played the old one, and that's the one, if if anyone seems to remember my weird rambling. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying so hard to get the, I think, the gyrocopter to pull up. I kept punching myself in the balls, trying to, like, <laughs> not fall into the rocks because I was, you know, being a daredevil or just horribly controlling it. Hey, there is a handgun. I saw it. Yeah. Um, that's that story. I was going to, I was hoping to talk to him because I was going to bring that up and <laughs> tell me he owes you yeah. like a, like a, a carbonated beverage. For <laughs> ice pack to put down there like a cold <laughs> drink. But like if pretend he's sitting here and I'm going to be like, my left testicle has a bone to pick. With you. <laughs> <laughs> I could move the camera and cut in and pretend to be him and we could, you know, go from there. But <laughs> <laughs> Just draw a face on the, on the ball. Like, ah! <laughs> but, uh, 
<clears throat> yeah, I was really looking forward to the multiplayer. I didn't have time to try the rest out, but it does look pretty tight. Um, again, I really like the war, uh, Warplanes World War One. I. I keep forgetting how that game is named. I think it's just Warplanes <laughs> and then World War One Warfighters or something like that. Yeah. Um, the Mustang in, in this game is pretty sweet. It's got the three guns on each wing, and they shoot yeah. it like in order. It's really neat. Now, like these missions, like you're talking about with the, he's shooting the grenade launcher, whatever the hell that is, um, at the roll of trucks. So I mean, I think there's like missions and stuff that you can do like that. Which I'm just a job and like you're a mercenary almost. So you're not just like doing pilot wing stuff, which again, pilot wings from the SNES is on my top. I guess my top five is literally <laughs> top 30, 50. <laughs> and I'm just going to keep saying, like, top 10, top 5. But I used to play the hell out of that game, perfecting landings and stuff. So this is right your, at alley. least your At least your top 5 um, 64 games. And SNES. NES, yeah, SNES 2, I forgot. Yeah. But <laughs> it looks like, looks like a blast. Um, Sorry if for anybody... the audio listeners. We kind of stop talking and just keep watching the video. That's not fair to you guys. I apologize. <laughs> it's a babysitter. Yeah. It, uh, <laughs> TV was a babysitter. But uh, back to it. Um, literally and figuratively. Back to it. Um, <laughs> so I can't see it. But uh, if anybody else has tried the multiplayer and got it to work, yeah, drop a drop a note or something. Because literally yeah. you just there was like a new room button. And I'm sure he'll get the so Work I was in their Discord checking it out, and they were, you know, they they released it without even, you couldn't really even find it in the game unless you knew how. And then they started rolling it out slowly. Um, he said they're not looking to add, like, private rooms unless the people clamor for it, and so far they are, so I'm hoping they add it. <laughs> and I hate to, you know, that people are uh, entitled to shit. So if you was here, I would apologize on behalf of all players. But it's like, it's never good enough, is it? Once you add multiplayer, yeah. it's like, well, I want character customization or, you know, I want private rooms. But the, the first thing that kills multiplayer for me is when you get those jackasses from <laughs> whether they just can't stop screaming and you can't mute them or, yeah. you know, they've played the game way too much. Like we just played um, Star Wars Squadrons again after a long pause on that. <laughs> And got Rick Roll, not Rick Roll, got rolled once. I was like, Jesus. <laughs> got Rick Rolled. Roll. Saw Rick Astley popping up on my screen. He's um, in my cockpit. <laughs> yeah, it was all weird. Foo Fighters showed up. Um, but then we had a good match. I'm like, now I remember why we played this game because it was a blast. It wasn't, yeah. I think we were a little well, better than those players. But again, just like when we were like dominating the game. Once you come upon, you know, I looked this up on the internet and made my ship built this way and we're all bombers, you can't do anything with that. So that's the only yeah. time we really were like, oh, now I remember the problems here. <laughs> and then we did, yeah, we did really good one match because we got <clears throat> probably put with people that were just normal. And, yeah. you know, maybe they don't have the HOTA sticks like the three of us do. Because the controller <laughs> legitimately is a little harder to be that fine-tuned. But uh, after that, it was just high bombers. Like at least yeah. three per squad, and I was like, "No, all right." For that one match made me remember why I played, and the other match made me <laughs> remember why I was a little frustrated. So I yeah. get it. Like that happens, and it's like I just want to shoot at like two people. Yeah, I already know. Hey, if if they would at least make the B wings the same like power and capability, we'd be fine. <laughs> but that B wing is a fucking beast, but. But it's those a slower. bombers are overpowered, way too yeah. overpowered. Yeah, they are. And um, speaking of whole the test, defender, too. this game will support it on PC VR soon. It doesn't yet. I tried it twice, <laughs> but they have confirmed they'll they'll be adding that, so that'll be neat. Yeah, and I'm sure it'll all work out fun. It's the dangers of early access too. You can't yeah. be mad. I mean, it's it says early access. I bought it on Steam. Like no. <laughs> Didn't have it. Oops, but it it has tons of promise, and I love the colors. Yeah, it they've done a good job. It's you smooth, know, like making, yeah. I was. haven't played aside from Rogue Squadron, which has never bothered me. Like I haven't played like a a game like a flying game like this, and I was 
doing all kinds of crazy stuff was fine, which, yeah, I play a lot of VR, I'm fine normally, but you can still run into things that'll make you squirm a little bit. And this, this is just smooth, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> you think it wouldn't be all the... flying, but as long as it's smooth and there's not too many crazy change in directions and yeah but for anyone who hasn't played it's really neat you start out you know on the landing strip you literally start it you, you turn the gas flow on start it take off you can land and um, i was trying to get ready to, to try our multiplayer so i got there a little bit early and i was having problems with oculus link or whatever it just kept disconnecting and then you gotta restart the game like you can't come back to it and like join that virtual session whatever gets created with link i kept doing missions and then somehow i pushed a button i didn't know what was going on i think i went into free mode because then you had to actually start it and i forgot about that like when i did the uh the first mission it's kind of walks you through training you don't have to start it and prime the magneto or whatever's going on <laughs> and it's like easy then i was sitting there like what the fuck is this <laughs> I was sitting there like he's waiting for me in multiplayer somewhere Trying to do all these doodads. I can't I'm like, get out oh. of this cockpit. <laughs> and by the time I, you know, it got through, it only takes a second when you're not, you know, you're in a hurry, not expecting it. Like, shit. And then I got up in the air, and then the little, like, like an iPad that gives you some options, like retry when you crash. It said free mode or free fly. And I was like, <laughs> how did you I do this? Try free mode. <laughs> <laughs> so that I crashed it, trying to get it, nice. like, out. And then there's just a retry button. And I was like, no, I want to go back. <laughs> That was like, ah, that's all me. It was just a funny moment. Like, I had to restart. So Link, Link would crash, and I had to restart the game. And then that happened, and Link didn't restart. I'm like, well, I got to restart the game. <laughs> just, uh, silliness. Um, it doesn't yeah. support at the time of this that I played it yesterday, which is like the 27th of April, 2022. It doesn't support virtual desktop. Um to play from your quest to like your PC. Um, and I don't know what that takes. So hopefully that comes because I've always had a, since I started using that, it's been a better experience from the link. Um, I wonder if that's on the game end or the virtual desktop end. Cause if it's on virtual desktops then Guy will probably have that fixed by tomorrow. <laughs> the way he works. Um, I'm sure if he knows about emulating it. button pushes. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, fun game. Looking forward to the multiplayer. Uh, looking forward to shooting and handguns. And hotels. Um, but I really like the virtual controls. I like the, the zen of like reaching my hand forward to something. Even though like the hotas has it there. I think for me, I have to use like when we played squadrons the other day using the hotas. I have to remember where all the buttons are and what they do yeah like they're all in, within reach of your thumbs usually and your trigger and stuff but it's like wait there's 15 buttons which was this one so i kind of like the the seeing the cockpit and interacting with it. um i don't know if I, i'll give it a shot maybe at the house but i'm fine with like the, as long as i don't punch myself in the balls <laughs> um I, I don't remember why i did that either because it was like you're going like this but it was like I, I couldn't i don't remember why but i was like you know the stick well I think we were kind of new to VR, and I I wonder if like you right. if the game was a little higher than it should have been, maybe. And you're trying to... yeah, I think yeah. you're right. And I think yeah. I might have been using Steam VR, and I didn't know yeah, about yeah, the yeah. floor <laughs> fix button and weird <laughs> shit like that because we were playing like Pavlov, and there was like a couldn't pick guns up off the floor because it was you're like an they were an inch lower than your hand you could touch the floor, and it was like hell, and there was like a special floor fix all that shit so i think yeah i was like sitting up too high and i was like watching the stick in vr so like you think it's like the joysticks here but it was really like down here under the table where the viewers can't see you know and then i was just sort of like trying my brain was trying to put my hand where it needed to go and as i was falling straight down out of the sky because i wasn't flying intelligently <laughs> that nothing was working uh never laughed so hard in my life <laughs> But <clears throat> the the new game, Ultra Wings 2, I think they said that it has five kind of cities. <clears throat> I only saw the one, but just in that one, it was neat because they have a, like a, a lot of buildings around and there's like uh, a lot of bridges. To f like you can go really low and fly through there, but 
Um, just a lot of fun stuff you can do in a plane. I mean, anything you can would probably ask for out of that kind of thing. Because just like in GTA, when you do all that air stuff in there, it is weaving yeah. in and out of bridges and doing all of that crazy crap. So it was cool to see that. Very cool. <clears throat> But yeah, I'll, the rest I had were questions for them, so I'll save those in the hopes yeah, that maybe we'll reschedule and do this again. Yeah, I feel bad if somebody's, you know, it just launched and they're working on, you know, multiplayer aspects and, and stuff like that. And I'd rather they just get their work done and we'll talk about it later. <laughs> I feel bad for them trying to squeeze it in now. <laughs> yeah. But once that multiplayer is up running, if anyone wants to come fly with us, let us know. We'll jump in the old cockpit. <laughs> a little intimidated, we'll say, like I said, the slow speed, because the last time I tried War Thunder, there's some serious fucking players on War Thunder. If you're not, like, flying like you would have been flying in World War II, you're just going to get this shit shot out of you. And it felt like that, like, this is really real <laughs> somebody's going to be doing some maneuvers behind me and i'm not going to know they're there <laughs> and i'm going to die oh, it'll be fun yeah. well it's funny like you said we were trying to play this and i had been playing this a little bit over the last week or so and we couldn't get it working so we went to warplanes and i don't know if it's what i the setup i did but the controls are exactly opposite so it took me like 20 <laughs> minutes to that's why I was riding in your plane just shooting the gun. <laughs> like, fuck it. Yeah. I wish. I don't know if the campaign in that Warplanes game is multiplayer. It, I don't think it's so. It's really fun to control and do, but it seems like there's a new one coming out, like whatever, September. Like, it might have even an early access launch for the World War II version yeah, of that. That's an early access now. Yep. Bring on the airplane World War One, World War II concept games. Like, can't have too many. <laughs> just keep yeah. coming. And make them co-op with lots of missions. <laughs> but yeah, the, the beautiful thing about that is like you, you, it's a it's a light, quick, fun play, and you can you know customize your planes with like some paint schemes and stuff, which is not always a thing in VR co-op multiplayer games. Yeah. You know, some customization, which of course I want to do. And weapons, but the uh, huh? You can upgrade weapons and engines and stuff. Yeah. So. Um, there's like the, the bad guy side and then the good guy side. Axis <laughs> and hours kind of thing. Um, but the good guy side has like the best fucking bomber. It's got like three seats, two people. It figures, took us a while to figure out how you can get in there like, and co op it up. But you can have your two friends or one friend swapping back and forth with taking place of the AI gunners. And I, I revamped that to have like the best gunning and turning capability. So all I got to do is plant my ass like to the side of a target. And like both AI people or friends will be shooting the shit out of the target. I don't have to do anything. It, I'm just like the dropship guy. It's such yeah. a neat feature in that game. But it's cool because like we were flying around and I was gunning for you. And if you don't get on the right trajectory, like you really got to turn around and go back again because mm -hmm. the planes you're chasing, like your bomber's so big and heavy, like you can't just go, Whoosh. you got to. Yeah really call it so it's like it's really neat because you get the full experience and again i don't know why wookie always ends up being the driver in every game we play but no oh well <laughs> Just yeah, have we talked about that last time yeah i, I yeah. can't i can't shoot shit out of a moving vehicle for some reason but um <laughs> but yeah that's the stuff i kind of like and i think some games maybe maybe it's true and everyone's um <sighs> can't think of the word everyone's like you know focus and attention span and shit is so small now like they can't handle that but that's like it's almost like a chess match with those big old slow vehicles like world war one or yeah. like see if these pirate ships fucking crazy good because if you you know maneuver around and you do it right you've got people dead or right so that's a really good feeling but it might take you 10 minutes to build that up in a fight yeah and then they put in that um whatever they called in pirates of the caribbean their bilge hauling or whatever and you drop your anchor Keel. turn like you know I don't think it's keel, keel hauls is what you do to people. You tie them to it and you throw them overboard over the front and they, they get hauled by the keel and scraped up with the barnacles and they get shredded mm -hmm. and killed. So I think they were like, Club hall? I don't know. I have to watch that movie again. <laughs> Shucks. Um, anyway, it's basically drifting your boat because of the <laughs> anchor. 
and it, they did it in Pirates of the Caribbean. And I think you could probably do it once in a pirate ship, but I think at the speed you might be going with full sail, you're going to crack <laughs> something. Like you're going to destroy yeah. your ship. Um, not a lot of reason to do it, but then boom, you you can't really do that. You can't really get in the zen of like, okay, I'm thinking tactically. Nope, they just did a 180, and now all of my planning is screwed up. And then you you know you got to do it all over again. It's like ah, shit. It's, Nobody has that. Maybe nobody has that patience. So I really like that fact, of like the World War One, the, the 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 bomber plane, and like, oh shit, can't quite get an angle on them, and you got to turn around, you got to, you know, you no. got to think about your whole new aspect. Because I like <clears> to triangulate <throat> stuff and do the prediction thing and all that stuff in my head, and it's it just scratches that itch. And not yeah. a lot of games have that. It's all way too arcadey. So, and <clears throat> still speaking of warplanes. They have zeppelins, and there's little guys on top of zeppelins <laughs> shooting at you, and they can actually hit you pretty good. Yeah. But I want to, I want the option to be that guy in that zeppelin because that'd be fucking insane, <laughs> right? That's the whole point of VR. I want to be able to do all of it and see it, like, yeah, because those zeppelins are huge. Yeah, I just want to run and jump off and see what happens. But, right? Yeah. So that'd be really fun. Um, <laughs> I think that would be a fun VR game, like the old Army Men game on 64 only in vr and you can just pilot all the toy vehicles and just do stupid crap is, that, is the army man or toy commander on the dream toy commander was on dreamcast where you flow you were flying um toy planes and stuff around the houses like micro machine style yeah it was like micro machines deathmatch so army man was a different one i get them so confused it's been so long <laughs> what if army man was like a third person shooter where you are army men <laughs> the plastic green ones right yeah hmm. you could be remember fighting in like the bathtub map across the tub <laughs> stuff i get those so like cool. yeah like mixed up because it's like i have visions of that while visions of flying around in the toy plane yeah. thing and it's like <laughs> my brain is We've just played like, a lot of games <laughs> my brain just shuffled that into one like that's it yeah <laughs> um and those are fun like don't don't knock it till you tried maybe you know people not used to games from the 64 or whatever or even the dreamcast but like holy shit <laughs> like yeah nobody we know will sit down and play a couch co-op game anymore you can't it didn't some of them don't exist and all that shit but like nothing kept you together besides killing each other on the same tv it's <laughs> it's a trip well, that, Nothing like why I think Army Men would be great for VR because of scale. Because mm -hmm. if anyone's scale. ever played a Micro Machine game, you're playing like you're racing around on like the kitchen table and shit. Well, if in scale, like if you're in that car, like the table is huge. Like I love that shit. Like I said, Army Men in the bathtub map where you're fighting across the tub and there's like soap for cover and suds, like all kinds of just stupid yeah, crap. Just, but the scale would be like, so awesome. <laughs> yeah, like making up little bridges to walk on because the box tipped over and shit like that. Yeah, places to hide. It was really fun. Yeah. And if you ever melted army men as a kid, which you know most kids did at a certain age back in the day, flamethrower in that game melted the crap out of everyone. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Even as a kid, I was like, that smells bad. I think that's not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Better than killing be ants. That's <laughs> eh. yeah, probably true. <laughs> yeah. Because he lit a cat's tail on fire trying to burn ants. Um, Wasn't on purpose. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cat just walked in there. Had a Funny. frizzy tail, and I was playing with a magnifying glass, and... We had that big you can do the math. comic book page size magnifier yeah. that probably was stronger <laughs> than like a regular one. So he's sitting there burning ants, bending the thing, which probably, you know, multiplied the effect. And then cat, big fluffy Persian cat goes walking under there and <laughs> smoke. So this is not yeah. VR related, but I have a question. <clears throat> and it's to myself. I, had, I used to collect comics, blah, blah, blah. I had a fucking page magnifier. Like how old fucking was I that I needed that? I don't know. Why I would ask I you that, that all the time. I'm like, can't you read that? You're like, no, I want to see the detail or something like that. I'm like, but you because just hold it closer to your nose. For as much as I, I've played video games and have VR on, like, I have really good eyesight. So what the fuck was I doing? I don't know. I think you just 
wanted one because you saw it. We were really little. Weird. Kids um, do weird shit. Kids are weird. <laughs> I miss being that weird. I think I'm still weird. Yeah. In a different world, but I miss being, you know, that weird. Yeah. Having the option to be that weird <laughs> in the time. Yeah, now there's consequences. Like, <laughs> they'll lock you up for rolling around in the grass with a giant magnifying glass, burning cat. <laughs> Um, it, it was an accident. The cat was fine. Yeah. The, um, I love animals more than humans, so don't come at me <laughs> for that. It's the cats, you know, when you're tinkering with shit, they got to walk right in front of it. It's just, they do. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to think, I don't, I think it was a busy week, so I don't think we played anything else in VR. We did walk about mini golf. Oh, jeez, oh, duh. Just, Just last night? The other one. <laughs> um, we played with BTC Badgers. I don't know if that's a clan. That was just a room name. Is that that was just the room name. Um, okay. A future guest that's coming on in a couple of weeks. We we're kind of hanging out. So we'll yeah. hear more about that later. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we played um, Walkabout Mini Golf. And it's super neat. And Don, when he was on here, talk kind of, I think we talked about a little bit, but you know, they started had, obviously they had to start charging for their maps. They put out so many for free and they're not that much. So if you're into the game, it's really not a big deal. Like you're happy. I looked at the store, it. they're like three bucks for like a yeah. pack of maps or whatever. Like that's nothing. 18, actually you get 36 holes because I don't know if I told you and Logger this, but <clears throat> you have the normal 18 holes. And then if you find, half of the hidden balls or get par on all of them. You unlock hard mode, which is hard. If and you guys saw how hard the normal stuff was. Um, so you get 36 holes really for that three bucks. I mean, that's <laughs> plenty. And um, don't get me wrong. I'm not slamming the top golf one, but wasn't top golf like 25 bucks. I don't remember. It's been so long and uh, it's decent. It's the same thing. I think, I think, uh, I got, um, walkabout for like 10 bucks, and there's yeah, that's normally 15. 15. So, don't get me wrong, if the other one's not 25, my brain says it's 25. The top of one, this one seems like it's got like more in it, and it's cheaper. Yeah. Well, you yeah. haven't played top, and I haven't checked out recently, but they've added a lot to that too. Um, that's fine. I'm just saying, like. <clears throat> I paid 25 bucks to hang out with you and our nephew like <laughs> three times and it was fine. This one, I got 15 bucks or whatever I got for 10. They get a 30 off Oculus coupon. <laughs> and, um, you, how do you, I don't understand how you pay the bills paying charging only yeah. 15 bucks for a game. Like that's usually like for a VR game. If it's, if they're smaller bite size, I would rather pay 15 bucks. But if it's like, Especially since we talked to Don, um, there's like so much, what's the word? Uh, not really effort, but esoteric detail. Like, you know, he's, he's, he was just all, you know, Disney imagineering the shit out of those maps. And usually people don't go that far. They'll make a game, they'll make solid things in the map and all make sense. And you got a game. And then there's like a whole nother layer of icing with like, you know, literally that kind of <laughs> detail. Yeah, a little bit in the candy thing. It's like that game should be like <laughs> twenty five bucks. Yeah, but they're not hurting. I'm not trying to tell them how to do business. I was like, I was just surprised at the price disparity between some games I paid twenty five bucks for and I've been like, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and to that point, I was trying to get to where I think I was the only one that owned the the last map. I I always forget the name, but it's like. Quixote, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory oh, mixed with one. Wreck It Ralphs. Yeah, so everyone could play it because I have it, and I wasn't even the host; I was just there, so it unlocked it for everyone. And I that's thought that's really neat. You can actually like I always thought we've talked about this like on Xbox, like because that's always been a division thing because I'd buy everything for every game because I love every game, but my friends won't like. Oh, I'm not paying twenty bucks for a map, and it's then you can't play it. 
So then I'm sitting yeah. here owning it, not playing with friends, and they're not playing it because they don't want to pay for it. When like, <clears throat> there's such, there's so much more goodwill spread when you let things like that happen. So imagine like, <clears throat> I don't remember which games you mean, but probably like, you're playing Call of Duty and everyone's playing it, and maybe a month goes by and those things usually wind down after a while. Friends like they get a little bored, and a map pack comes out and you get like Nuke Town or Rust or something in a map <laughs> map map Mac pap Mac map a Mac pap. I don't know. Um, idiot. Uh, sorry. That was, that was probably so <laughs> But like, did they come in and they're like, well, I don't play this game much anymore. I'm not going to drop 20 bucks on a map pack. Um, and then you just get to play the old ones and then it reinforces them not wanting to play. But if you yep. have like the friend pass thing, you, you got some money from one player and you're probably going to get money from another player because they're going to be like, you know what? That was fun. I remember why we played. And there's more yeah. maps, and it sparks something new. And even if they don't buy it, you've made your customers more happy for the same amount of money because one of them bought it. It's like, <laughs> what happened to the, you know, first hits free and then it gets hooked on crack? What? So, <laughs> um, that's all games are. <laughs> it's just digital yeah. crack. Um, that never doesn't make sense. I, again, People are entitled. I don't know how hard it is to set up licensing to do that shit or, you know, whatever. It's just like once somebody thinks of something like that, as long as it's patented, it's kind of like squeezing your game, spread some goodwill. Everybody, you'll get more. Um, you'll get more sales. But yeah. <clears throat> and the one thing I will say about Walkabout, it was my first time playing it. Like, and I've noticed this in a lot of games. I know they put a lot of work in those environments, but that the norm, hard normal shading, I forget the technical term, but it's like, you know, normal's pointing out. I don't know why. I've never really appreciated that because it gives me anxiety. And I know because, you know, Quest 1, especially that I'm still using mobile stuff, you need as much, squeeze as much performance as you can. The light shading and all that stuff gets tweaked and it's, you know, now it's become like an art style out of necessity that it was before. It causes me anxiety. So I kind of felt bad. I don't know if I need therapy. Maybe I need to sit and walk about more, but like, or any other game <laughs> that just has that. But Walkabout's the one that was totally the most work. They got like an awesome, was it a windmill or a tower? Yeah. I think it was one, yeah, it was a giant windmill. I'm sitting there like staring at it. That looks amazing. And just behind it, there's this giant clouds and mountains with sheep. But it's the hard, hard shading on the, the normals. Like every polygon, you can see the shape of it. And it's just like, because again, I took modeling in Maya like in 2002, <laughs> you know, until you like, maybe it's stress from that because like you didn't, <laughs> nobody did that back then for like, you know, PTSD from modeling. Yeah, I think it might be because like <laughs> they would tell you, you don't know until it happens. But once you know you've made it when you started modeling, it's like you'll have a dream where, like you're doing everyday stuff. Like you and I could be hanging out, sitting on the couch or anybody and everything's like in wireframe polygon mode. Like your brain just sees it in Polygon. And it has happened. It happened. Um, because you're just, we're doing it so much. And the school I went to, was like, you know, eight hours a day, any time of the night, like a four hour lecture in the morning in a four hour lab at 1 a.m. Like you're just there and it just bashing your head against it. So like, if you had those hard shading things, your, your normals were fucked up and you had like five minutes to finish your final, you might be like, maybe that's where it came from. Cause like I'm maybe. sitting there like, and I'm just like, Breathing heavy, like not noticing it. But when I sit there and then I hit the ball and, you know, I'm just flicking my wrist trying to get used to the, the, the weight of the ball. And it's a little odd because you're using one hand and it automatically, like, you don't have to guess like how far to stick your arm because like the putt or putter head, whatever it is, club, um, <laughs> automatically like lengthens to the floor. So you, it, it's trying to help out, but it's not, my brain doesn't do that. My brain's like, give me the tool. I need to know the dimensions. I'm all screwed up. I was doing okay when I tried, <laughs> but I couldn't, I couldn't focus on any of that because like the whole, all of the background is just beating PTSD down on me. And I'm like sitting there like not noticing any of the cool details that Don had been working on or anything. And our nephew was like, there's clothes flapping on the clothesline. That looks awesome. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> like, I can't look. I, I don't get like that that often, but I was like sitting there getting hives almost like Jesus, yeah, what's yeah. wrong with me? It is quite the experience, and you even said it, like, I think this place is supposed to be relaxing me, but it's not. And it's, it's quite the experience when 
you know, everyone else in a room <clears throat> is kind of having fun and joking around, and Wookie's over in the corner, like, I hate this. I don't like that. <laughs> like, it's just and like... <laughs> nothing gets there. Everything's modeled really well, but again, it's that, the sharp edges. It, I think we just solved it though, because I couldn't figure it out. Because I, I don't gravitate towards those games. If I kind of see it, I'm like, I might not buy that one. Just I don't have a freak out. I'm just sort of like something in my brain like says like, not for you, and it's fine, whatever. But like in there, and they've done such like a lush covering of am ambiance or whatever you want to call it that I'm just <laughs> surrounded by it. And they're like those flowers. Something's wrong with those flowers. I sound like Rain Man or something. Like those flowers are too weird. <laughs> They're like flowers made yeah. of paper crap. It was. It was. I think you said it was you, myself, and Logger, our nephew, and then two of the game devs. His first time meeting. Well, they're not both game devs, but anyway, <laughs> they just kind of kept moving on and left us kind of back there, like consoling Wookie. <laughs> I was trying to keep up, and then yeah. when you don't have presence of mind, when you're agitated about something, and again, I, I was trying not to be. But then you bump a button and it pulls you up to like a zoom mode where you can see all the whole numbers. I had no idea. I joined late and then you just pop in into this candy forest and like in a cave somewhere. <laughs> like, what am I looking at? And then you don't know like what hole number you're on. And then you freak out and you bump a button and you're like, Poof, and you have no idea where anybody is. You see all these holes. I'm like, where are we at? And everyone's yeah, probably we... like, what's wrong with this? <laughs> we started. So if Wookie, where Wookie's sitting, that's where the group was. And you can hear Wookie spawn in way over here in the start. Where the fuck am I? What is this? Where are you guys? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, we'd planned it starting at a certain. I was like three minutes late. And you were guys like, you need to bring the late person brings the cold beverages to the to the yeah. golf tournament or whatever. And I'm like, they're it was weird. What? They're more they want to play walkabout, but then they they their groups play all every Wednesday. But that they were more worried about playing population one afterwards. Where he's like, I can't be late to that. We got to start right now. And I'm like, well, it's it's time, so sure. I guess Wookie will pop in. <laughs> it's just funny, like your first time in there, and it it was a little rush, which is no big deal. But it's like we're in that candy land, and the anxiety is just off the roof. <laughs> I apologize. I feel like I need to write a letter to Don and say I love you and I love what you do. <laughs> but my heart hurts when I go in your game because I want to enjoy all the. I usually I'm the one walking around looking at details and this one is like everything was just like like there's a fucking raft going through a tunnel with all these treasure yeah. chests and PJ's like ooh treasure chests and I'm sitting there yeah it's great <laughs> like, yeah Logger and I were, were doing what we'd normally do like check out every corner and we're over here like oh my god look at this and you can hear Wookie over here like fucking look at that shading <laughs> and, <laughs> it's funny and weird <laughs> I told you it was weird <laughs> I wasn't lying. It just um, it and it strikes when you least expect it. When you you wouldn't expect it, and it just it's, it's so fucking weird. But what are you gonna do? People are irrational <laughs> and they're awesome. Yeah, because they're <laughs> weird and we're all different. I don't know. Um, normally, I'd be picking that stuff apart and be you know like getting modeling tips because you know the when you have the hard shading, literally you can see the outline of all the polygons like that. And you can kind of see like, Oh, that's exactly how they model that. You know, <laughs> like, there's no question. Like sometimes it's all smooth yeah. and pretty. And you're like, Whoa, how the hell do you do this? And no question, but I still couldn't, couldn't do it. It's funny. I keep putting my hands up like here. I wasn't really doing like that, but it was like, it's what my brain felt like. It's <laughs> like hide. <laughs> uh. Well, he broke down and was basically just fucking, um, Oh, I already forgot what the hell. Happy well, Gilmore. <laughs> yeah, happy Gilmoreing the ball after a while. I'm like, no, Adam Sandler, no, Madison. buddy, buddy, yeah. Billy Madison, no, no. What is it? <laughs> we just same wavelength. Other people were probably able to guess that too, but it's like, yeah, I was sitting there and I'd hit it and I'd get kind of close to be fine. Also, I don't really have that much patience for mini golf, even though I keep <laughs> trying. It's just sort of like I'm sick of waiting for three people to do their thing. I'm just going to bam. <laughs> I'm just going to hit my ball and see what got happen. So that was kind of but, fun. You know, we kind of went through all that and we're like, should we go play something else? Oh, maybe it's too late to go play something else. So we found ourselves, they added this brand new starting area for anyone who hasn't played. Um, used to start on a little island and you could walk around a little bit. That was about it. 
now it's like, it's like they have all these holes. Like tiki, yeah. tiki hut, um, island pirate thing going on. It was, it was neat. Yeah, they have all these practice holes, and you can like, do some exploring and stuff. But then they have a driving range, which is brand new. And I was surprised. We played on the driving range for quite a while, <laughs> compared to what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> So was, we still had fun. We made fun. I wasn't, I wasn't surrounded by so much of the shedding. There was open sky, and you know, I could look at the ground and hit the hit the ball like fifty times a second, <laughs> trying to make score. So, yeah, and it is weird. And I apologize for if I caused any issues. But you know, they no. Don was on there talking. You know, like it's everyone loved it because you know especially pandemic it's a chill place to hang out so you got people that have no interest in mini golf hanging out in mini golf app all this stuff and it's super chill and the music's calming and light light breezes interacting with stuff and i was not expecting to <laughs> <laughs> i will mention uh, you know we mentioned you can play the maps if you don't own them and the mm -hmm. only setback to that and i totally get it i'm not dissing this there's a hidden ball on every hole in every course. And then there's like a Easter egg hunt that expands the entire map. So if you don't own it, you can't find the extra hidden balls. So normally like that's what I'm doing when other people are hitting. So that, that might be why some of that relaxation wasn't there. Cause you are just kind of standing like, all right, dickhead, go. <laughs> yeah. Cool. It'd be, it'd be meeting halfway. You could actually maybe pick them up. Because I saw the one you guys pointed me to, I just couldn't interact with it. Maybe you can pick them up; it just doesn't save them, and then yeah. people could be stray hunting or something. But I, I would be the one getting too focused in that. If I wasn't, I would have freaked out and making everybody else wait. So. Well, Easter egg hunts is really neat because like that's fun to go in there with a couple people, and you don't even play the golf because it's like actual clues, like kind of like again, like Sea of Thieves, like they'll have hints and clues. Only these make more sense, I think. And it's just fun to go out and then you get a uh, a special club for each map. So <laughs> cool stuff. I like it. If you ever want to experience Wookiee's meltdowns, let us know. <laughs> Please don't. Hopefully you're over it. I hope maybe you're realizing maybe that is it. Maybe it'll go away. I don't know. There's no cure for PTSD, PJ. You just learn to live with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you have somebody <laughs> has real PTSD from real problems? That, that's, I don't mean to joke about that, but from my experience, you just sort of like, you have to accept it and learn to cope, and then, you know, <laughs> then go about it. Yeah. And I think, is that Ragnarok, the boat? drumming game in that art style With yes the, the yep because i keep having my finger over the buy button for like i don't know a year like i'll keep yeah. looking at it and be like <laughs> i want to try that out and then something keeps me away and i don't know if it's that now like because i kind of like get the gist of it from you know looking at it on the on the mobile and the mobile app in the store and you kind of see it and I'm like oh it looks hard shaded and then i'm like hmm. and i'll wait <laughs> yeah that game, the last time I played that game, like, I love that game, but, um, and I, I apologize, I'm bad with names, I'm sure you, if you're a listener, you know this, a friend on Twitter, um, who I played Zenith with a couple times, um, he's like, hey, you want to play some Ragnarok? I'm like, sure, I, like, I haven't played in a while, so we jumped in, and he was also, like, we kind of just jumped in and took off, he's like, hey, I kicked your ass, I'm like, my drums were like two feet in front of me. Like I didn't have time to set up. So then from then on, like I was like miles ahead of them. Cause when you're, when the song's playing and you're drumming, you're actually like your bolts move. So you mm -hmm. can actually see. And, um, yeah, I always left them in the dust. It was funny, <laughs> <laughs> but it's gotta be that art style. Cause, and again, I'm not going to remember the name of this game, but it was an Epic game. Like when we first got into VR, it's, <clears throat> It's on Steam VR and it's it's like a it's kind of like a Skyrim style game, only you know not quite as deep. But like I played the like I was one of the first games like I was playing every day for hours and going through it. I'm like, dude, check this game on you. Like I hate those graphics. <laughs> like okay, <clears throat> it's got to be the you know that. So and that's fine. 
it's i feel like we're the odd couple sometimes because you just like (laughs) like you said before you buy every map for every game he just loves most games and i am a jack ass i'm an asshole when it comes like i'm incredibly picky about stuff and i don't really mean to be but sometimes it saves me a lot of time sometimes i miss out on stuff until i give it a shot i'm like oh i was wrong um (laughs) but i'll just be like no and pj will be like the fuck enjoy life you turd (laughs) you turd (laughs) i'll be like no (laughs) i don't want to enjoy life (laughs) not having it yeah um plus it's all that thing you know i we said that last time pj will play like six games in the same day and i'm like the same game in six months like spread it out um that gets in the way yeah I don't, um, I don't know. I don't uh, recommend playing that many games. Like there's some weeks where like it's a, it's a blast, but some weeks it's like, okay, that's enough. I gotta go do something. <laughs> yeah. Hey, things go up and down. If you're in a down spot, you know, just give it a day. You'll, you'll yeah. be happy in the next day or so. Yeah. And the, you'd being picky. I, I pick on Assassin's Creed Valhalla all the time again. That game I was looking forward to for years. And the other day, I hadn't played Ghost Recon Breakpoint in a little while. Because um, we started playing that all again, and, and I was tinkering with it. And we hadn't gotten to play in a while, so I hadn't played. And, and Ubisoft sent me an email saying, done with Breakpoint already? And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Tracking all my, like, what the fuck? So it's recommending Valhalla again. I'm like, how many times do I have to refund this game before you get a picture? <laughs> um, track that shit. Um, but I was sitting there looking like, oh, this is neat. Because I love how some of the backgrounds look. And like, there are issues I have with, it seems like, you know, one, one department made how the big Viking boat feels on the water. And one department made this. And you know, it just stitched together very well for me. <laughs> I did play some of it. And I want to go back to it. But it's going to be like on a big sale when I have time and I don't think it's going to happen. But I was sitting there like, you know, every time I see PJ's millions of screenshots, I'm like, God damn it. I want to play that game, but I don't want to give them any money. I I think I hit like 180 hours with that. Like the other week. Have you beat the game yet? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's what surprised me. Like I, it's the first game, like open world game. Like I still have to go back and finish Witcher three. Which Fuck I'm you. sad because they they were going to do the next graphical update and put it out for free, but I think that got put on hold, which I was like, God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I beat the main game. I beat the last three DLC stories, which is another, I don't know how many hours, but I haven't bought the new one because I'm not, I'm probably, I'd probably have fun with it, but it's more like goes into the God territory where you're like doing god stuff which i i'm very much like obviously i like the core game where it's just i'm a viking in the wilderness making shit work yeah i don't know maybe if it when it goes on sale in a couple months i'll try it but i can just exist in that game like like you talk about witcher 3 like i get off my horse and i you know walk around and just look around and i'll go kill a guy or (laughs) raid a village or but I, totally I can't stop that's... taking pictures in that fucking game. <laughs> like, it's so pretty. And that's why I want to do it. But every time I get there, I, I think about all the reasons that it's bugged me. And then in, in this email, <laughs> and again, I like the period pieces. I like to kind of get in the zone with this stuff. That's why Witcher 3 and GTA sucks me in. It's like, you know, it's very well, it's like watching, you know, yeah. a really good mini series on some streaming service that hopefully won't actually put commercials in. But, uh, oh my God. <laughs> but um the email was like i don't know if it was trying to get me to buy the latest pack but it had some like polar bear with a unicorn horn and it was like farting a rainbow i swear to yep. god yep. and i was like deleted i didn't even, like that's my instant thing i didn't even read the rest of the email i didn't consciously say delete it my brain just went deleted <laughs> no. it's like i don't mind the fancy funny silly stuff but if it's in a period game and i can't shut it off and it's you know, sometimes you like silly, sometimes you don't. But every time I think about that game, and now I just hear the uh, the quest <laughs> to get like a fox pet in your boat or something like that hanging out. It's like, oh my little dinky do, and it's like, who did they pay to do the voice? And it's just I've never ridiculous. even seen that. 
I was looking something up once and uh, somebody had like a, a video of that quest and they're like, the hell is this shit? And I watched it and it's like, you can get a pet cat maybe to hang around on the, on your boat. I have a cat under my seat. Yeah. You, you can get a fox and he kind of mm-hmm. like runs around on your boat. And the quest is like, you, you come upon <laughs> this lady laying there and her NPC lady doesn't look like an old lady, but her voice is like, you hired the intern that gets you coffee to do an impression of an old lady. And it's like, Oh, save my dinky do. So you go in the hut <laughs> and you try to find out. And the guy's like, that's not a dog. Cause she said it was a dog. And it's just like, you get this Viking warrior guy going, that's not a dog. This lady's a fox. Should I tell her it's a fox? Hmm. And then you kind of get it out of the burning house. And then you go up to her. She's laying on the ground like, Oh my dinky do. And he's like, you know that's not a dog, right? That's a fox. And then she's like, "Oh, is that why you're so rambunctious? I'm gonna die now. Please take care of my dinky do." And then you have a fox. I'm like, "What the fuck did I just watch?" Yeah, yeah, that would, that would turn me off a little bit too. Because it's like, not that I care what like other people think, but it's like I can't take that game seriously if it's. <laughs> I don't want to watch like Yo Gabba Gabba while I'm playing a game I just paid sixty bucks for. And been putting a hundred hours in, and then you get to that shit. I'd be like, you know, hey, you had to call it. Pretend I have a thumb and a pinky stick. I'm like, hey, Ubisoft, can you send me a physical disc that I can break? Because I paid <laughs> for this game digitally. Um, I don't know. I, I again, I'm like a real big, and again, I don't mind silly stuff. And then I saw another quest where it was um, Prodigy <laughs> smack my bitch up in a game about historical Vikings, and it was like this whole contrived quest. So you go beat up a bishop just so a guy in the background could go yeah hey, smack my bishop and i was again like the hell is this shit? <laughs> at least that one's funny but it's also still like okay like the limit and again i'm this is just me and i'm not trying to tell anybody to change anything it's just i vote with my wallet and i don't want to pay for it um i don't want to do that but like Assassin's Creed, the second Ezio game or something like that. I think the first one, you build up a, a, a villa and then it gets destroyed or something. And the second one, somewhere in there, you're in Italy because you're Ezio. Ferenzi Day something. He had a huge name. Um, and you meet your <laughs> uncle, Mario. Remember this part? No. <laughs> so you're walking up, up out of town, something like that. I just remember you're like on a road and your uncle character in the game goes, Ezio. It's a me, Mario. And I busted out laughing and almost deleted the game at the same time because it was like, come on. <laughs> it's from, you know, eh, from Mario, you know, the, <laughs> the plumber. Like, I get it. I see what you did there. But no, thanks. I don't know. <laughs> fourth wall, it still just was like, pulls you right out of the game. Like, it's funny yeah. as hell, but it's like. I think I'm going to go do dishes now. I'm kind of done. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, I don't know. Is it weird of me? Everybody, you can, no. you can armchair diagnose me, send in a, a, an email, a comment, a tweet or whatever, to the, whatever, like, tell me what's wrong with me, please. <laughs> I'm just a picky <laughs> asshole. I don't know. No, I, I would be, you know, I agree with a lot of that. And I, like, if I run into stuff like that in games, cause there is one other quest, like I didn't run into to the two that you talked about Valhalla, but there was one, I'm not going to say what it is, but I'm like, okay, I did not like that. It was the only one thing I really didn't like. So I'm like, consciously, I'm like, okay, I got to get three in-game miles away from here, save it and call it a day. Cause like you said, it pulled it, me out. I'm done. It, it, thank but, you. It destroys the whole yeah. atmosphere of everything. But then, you know, then you have to wait a week when you come back. I don't remember that, so I just keep going forward. I'm like I'm never and going I have back a, there. a horrible <laughs> problem about remembering things. Yeah. Like sometimes <laughs> I don't. Sometimes I remember everything everybody's ever done to me. <laughs> it's like it won't go away. I try to ignore it, but I take the you know the emotion and the flavor out. I keep the fact, but it just doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't work sometimes because like if that's my association with that game, I get it. People associate stuff, and you start to get like a complex. Maybe I don't know, but it's like if I you know go to boot up that game. It doesn't take much for me to, to judge a game harshly, especially when it's like, oh, my dinky do. And then like, <laughs> when, when you see those classic, like in comedy shows, like sitcoms, like the, the IT crowd, there's an episode where the Roy character has to take photos of like, um, 
geeks all day and he's trying to make it sexy and he's he's just you can see him warping like he's he's yeah. he's disintegrating while he does it he's trying to make out with some chick later and all he can hear is the stuff like the doctor's <laughs> already changed my catheter and like you know, all this stuff <laughs> and he can't think and then like my brain will like, grab onto one of those and keep it and it's really yeah. funny because like when i think about playing assassin's creed valhalla i'll talk myself through getting over that because i will literally hear that like my dinky do my dinky do, like echoes and shit like that it's like back there in yeah. my head it's really funny and i'll get over it and then they send me a a rainbow farting unicorn bear yeah that's <laughs> flying around like rudolph or some shit it's like strike nine <laughs> yeah right when, I, I mean i get that, that like, stuff what's that um i was, i get that stuff like it doesn't affect me as much as other people but um uh, my previous spouse uh, Lily is her online name. Um, we were in the theater seeing the first Avengers movie, and you know where <clears throat> the big um, mm -hmm. aliens come space in? That, the, the, yeah, the space worms, and the Hulk grabs his tooth and like rips it off or whatever. There's an old lady sitting in front of us, and, and when that part was happening, she's like, well, there's a molar if I ever saw one or something. Like, talk about a cabbage. Oh, she said something stupid. And Lily, like, for the next couple years like when we'd go to rewatch it like she's like i get to that point and all i can hear is that old lady and that ruins the whole movie for me <laughs> like, that sucks <laughs> yeah and that's the kind of stuff i'm scared of like i've said before like i think i was at work and i was someone was asking me about music and i'm like i'm very picky about music blah 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 and they're like why i'm like because if i'm if i'm on my last moments like when i die and if <laughs> the last thing that pops in my head is like a Justin Bieber lyric or some shit, I'm going to find a way to do something bad to anybody that made me ever hear that shit. Cause I'm coming back. <laughs> Killing someone. That's those Unless are like my fears. South Park one. Did you yeah. see the South Park one? He gets like squished <sighs> and his head goes popping off. <laughs> that must be in a later season. Cause I always get, I rewatch it and I get to a certain season. I'm like, I've had enough for a while. Hey, it turns I should into, just start somewhere else. It's turn, it turns into Saturday Night Live where there's really funny bits, but you got to sit through weird shit to get there. But there's one where, like, you know. I don't know if it's a giant, like, Cthulhu demon or something like that, but there, there's uh, Justin Bieber, and he's rubbing his crotch on stage, you know, the little the way they're animated. He's like, baby, 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 baby. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. And, like, Cthulhu or whatever giant demon is just picks him up and, like, squeezes, and it goes, and his little head goes flying up. <laughs> or some shit like that <laughs> oh god that's worth it oh, I, mean, I have to remember moment, to... i was like huh i was gonna say i have to remember to cut that clip because you... <laughs> that was funny sorry go ahead <laughs> i would say in that moment it was the only moment i was ever glad i'd ever heard the justin bieber song just to build up <laughs> to see to understand what i just saw and then it kind of made it okay maybe there's like some some uh come to jesus or uh, not come to jesus moments um some come to closure therapy moment we can design a process about that like all this dumb crap we don't want to know yeah. about how do you <laughs> south park it <laughs> and make it okay like i've uh, never been to a therapist but i thought it'd be interesting to kind of see where like i don't you know i'm i don't know i don't know if i'm normal or not but like the stuff that i think i'd come up with like that really like hearing justin bieber when i die like is one of my biggest fears like that's not normal that's stupid. Like, there's other things well, to worry about. <laughs> I'm pretty sure during the pandemic, maybe they still have them, but there's got to be some online therapist. I'll give you a free first hour. Maybe you mm -hmm. can just go. <laughs> just, you know. But see, to me, in my brain, it'd be it. like, you're just doing this for fun. It's free for an hour. You're not going to be honest about shit. <laughs> I just say weird shit to fuck with them. Wow. Who knows? <laughs> you might pull a plug of crap out of the drain of your, you know, psyche and you might feel better about it and you're like oh that was, that was odd <laughs> you never know i feel pretty good <laughs> you might feel better maybe i don't um <laughs> i don't know how we got off on those weird tangents i'm sorry if that bothers people <laughs> welcome to another wookie moment <laughs> it's cool um we have never gotten a like a, a message or even a hint of like this is a VR podcast. What was that? Oh. <laughs> okay. I, 
no big feel deal. bad. I think I get annoying, like in real life, if people are going off and they're just like, if you're tuning in, you probably want to see something stupid, funny, or who knows what. That's your choice. But sometimes in real life, when that shit happens and people just want to have an enjoyable time playing walkabout mini golf, and I'm sitting there going <laughs> <laughs> to myself, sound like Bill Burr. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not that fun. I try not to, but it's sometimes it bleeds out. <laughs> The only time, and I, I don't know, maybe no one wants to hear this, but it's interesting to me. Like, the only time that's ever really, like, worried me is, like, when we, back in the day when there's a group of everyone and a new game's coming out and everyone's excited and everyone, you know, spent money on this game and the anticipation and build up, and we get in the first room and within five minutes, he's like, fuck this, god damn it, son of a bitch. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> All right. yeah. <laughs> it's I wish I had a faster <laughs> mute button because usually that's all about me because again Black Ops 2 the, the one PJ spilled the beans on um, I think that was a uh, 100th episode uh, one of the 100th episode where I had some of the dev round table and PJ was like what you broke a disc I'm like don't tell people that because <laughs> um, I went out and bought it again in the same day and my girlfriend was like what yeah. the fuck wrong with you <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> the funny thing about that was like, I called oh. it. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and a, a above average level of being a gamer and stuff like that. So those games, again, there's like the Treyarch old school Call of Duty and the Activision had different engines and the lag compensation in Treyarch's Black Ops games was just driving me nuts. So I was like, I'm not going to spend my time and waste my, you know, valuable heartbeats on <laughs> getting aggressive. Like if, if a bunch of people are playing this one for longer than a day or two, hopefully that wasn't my fault, but, um, then I'll, you know, I'll rent it and I'll play the first week. And if, if everybody keeps doing stuff, maybe I'll have some fun, go to, you know, red boxes, renting games or game five. I don't remember what I was using. And that game like walked in and I just like obliterated everybody with the, the stock gun. I was like, I'm not even going to change my setup. I'm just here to <laughs> have fun. And I just dominate. I'm like, well, that was better than the other game, like the first one or whatever yeah. I had associated. So I was like, I'll go ahead and, you know, like, okay, we'll pick this one up. And as soon as I start changing my setup and I try harder, try hard, <laughs> I guess, um, I'm like, actually like, okay, like tinkering with stuff. And then literally somebody runs around a corner and I'm shooting at them and I don't even damage them. But then with like the crossbow, I hit people through like a boarded window right between the cracks and they die. And I'm like, that is annoying as fuck like what the hell is wrong with this game and i need to shut up and like mute myself because it's not about anybody playing i'm not trying to you know if, if in the moment where i'm trying to do something and somebody snipes me between the eyes and i was you know i'll be like motherfucker but it's like good shot <laughs> so um i need to just mute myself because i'll be doing some crazy stupid thing because i get bored real easy again and and uh <laughs> And like mini golf, everyone's trying to like play the golf. And I'm like, I wonder if I can do this stupid thing. Nope. And uh, I'll just keep doing that until it works once. And then I'll post it on Instagram. Anyway, um, But like that shit just bothers me when it's like the game's not doing what it was a minute ago. And I'm not able to do what I was a minute ago. And then those things clash pretty hard. So I, I remember being, you know, quite like, <laughs> and then, um, I really got to calm down with that. Because <laughs> it's like, nobody wants it. But it's like, again, it's just me being like, what the fuck? And it's probably just network lag. Who knows what? I have no idea. Yeah. But that game, especially Black Ops 2, wasn't that game just fucking weird about that shit? Am I just making that up? No, it was very bad for like hitboxes and stuff. Because like, you'd be hiding, and we all saw it, <laughs> like I'd be hiding behind cover, just the top of my head, pope, you know, peeking up, and I, would get shot and then you'd see the kill cam and they're just shooting in the middle of the box that I'm hiding behind and I'm dead. It's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I remember like freaking out once and being late. Like somebody runs straight across, like there was a boat, like a yacht level, I remember. And somebody run around the corner coming like down the hallway. And I was just one of those moments where you're just like a second late and then you react. He already like made it past me over here and like, you know, he was running like this way. So if you're looking at the camera this was me and this guy goes running this way and he was already like past my screen like in my peripheral vision and i just freaked out pulled the trigger and i saw the hit marker and he died from nothing 
Like he was gone and he died. And I was like, wait a minute. There was a ghost like five body link <laughs> step behind him and that's what I hit to kill that? Like, and I was like, started yeah. to formulate the, the it, networking in this game doesn't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> yeah. It took me years to figure this shit out because like, we'd all be laughing, having fun when he's pissed off. Like, we're dominating every game. What What is the problem? And I'm not like discounting your opinion or anything. I just never really fully understood it for like a couple of years. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> I've, and sometimes I just got to relax and just have the fun. But my brain like has to solve problems. So mm. if there's like a snag here, you, you, we're all playing. But my brain will fixate on that and like split in half like that. You know, name of the wind book you guys made me read. Split my brain into two chunks, and one half Which... of my brain is literally working on that <laughs> while we're playing. While I'm just sniping people out of the air while they're jumping and twirling and shit, I'm like, "Wham!" There's another part of my brain that's like, "Okay, where did I hit, and why didn't that lag thing there?" It's literally doing that in the middle of it. It's like, <sighs> you know, we're still waiting on that goddamn third book from that series. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like. You guys were like, read that book. You got to read it. Read it. And it's like, I read it. And I'm like, I, Patrick Rothfuss is the author, office, author. And I respect a lot of it. And the only thing I had with that book was like, I like to <laughs> paint visuals in my head based on the author. So like, I'm a huge, you know, Tolkien fan. When he just like writes stuff just perfectly, it, it's like throwing paint on a canvas in the back of my brain. My brain is just, again, could be the same mechanics. And he just honed it down perfectly for me or other people like me. I don't know. I just, it goes like I was in college and I had to write like a short story and I just wrote like stream of thought out of my head trying to be like Tolkien and everyone in the, that read it was like, what the fuck is this? How do you write like that? I'm like, I read too much Tolkien. I don't know. And it just like, I copied it. <laughs> I didn't copy it Tolkien. I just like, this is what I see in my head. And it just went nuts. So like that works for me. But the name of the wind book, it's like, there is no open to interpretation stuff. It's like every facet is like, it's like a textbook when he's explaining the magic and the, I don't know, making potions, whatever he's doing. It's like, he's squeezing every drop of everything. There's no room left for your brain to go be excited about it. And I was like, calm down, author. <laughs> like I have the, <laughs> the right to say that to anybody. Um, yeah. But then I, you know, I, I get kept it, reading because you guys, were, really you guys like were going on about it. And then there was no third book. And then I'm like, well, now I do want to know what happened. I'm not like, dying to know, but then there's the only thing is like, this is another Game of Thrones moment. Where's the rest of the book? Is it coming? And then I think somebody optioned his stuff for like a TV show, and I'm like, oh god, no, it's never. <laughs> um, this is your yeah. fault, Big Planet Games. This is your fault. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, that's 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 that mystery that's been plaguing us this whole time is my brain sees those symptoms of, you know, again, networking multiplayer games, you're gonna have that stuff. It's not perfect. Lag happens even if you're, you know, two doors down or something. So um that's where my that's what my brain is doing. It's literally like not only what's going on, trying to understand it from my own idiot brain, like I don't know how to network program that well, but I understand what just happened. And then trying to compensate for it is, is going on. And again, it works really well. I've said it before, too. Like, you know, that Titanfall game with that giant, heavy Kraber sniper where you had to lead, like, other game, other bullets are, like, instant. And that one's a huge, heavy thing, and you had to bullet drop and wind mm -hmm. and timing, whatever's going on. And I can snipe. When I'm in the zone, I can snipe anybody off of anything, like the zip wire stuff and that's my brain trying to like nail it in and that's why i hate switching to a game with another control scheme because my i mean i'm like in the, the the settled in the in the zone and right when i get there somebody's like let's go play forza I'm like, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> even though i could have been topping the kill charts the whole time getting there <laughs> i'm like now i can put on like you know that the blast shield helmet and then you know be the jedi thing and i'm like well, you know like everything's working and it's not enough. And then somebody's like, I got to go to bed. Fuck. <laughs> so if, if anyone cares about Wookiee or make, wants to help and make him feel, just send pictures of animals. <laughs> 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 That's Happy all I know. 
That'll work. So, <laughs> you you kind of have. <laughs> I'm a weird person. That's all right. Uh, it's just hard. Like I don't want to laugh at things, but some things are funny, <laughs> but are, are also sad. I need to leave push to talk on because <laughs> I'm over here, you know, and it has nothing to do with any, even if it, you know, if in the middle of my calculation, somebody does, you know, blow me up. <laughs> I mean, you can't deny. And again, we don't have any clips of any of these. I wish we did from way back in the day, but like rainbow sticks on the old Xbox. And I'm sitting there last guy on my team using thermal vision to see people running past the doorway to hide and set C4 by a window for somebody to walk out, walk past, and I push the trigger, blow them up. They go flying out the window and land right next to PJ. When that shit lines up like that, it's worth all the other <laughs> shit. <laughs> but it, you know, it's, it's a pain in the ass to get there. I feel like, not really a mad scientist, I can't take credit for that, but you know, like, you know, numbers and chalkboard things are all happening while my brain's trying to line this up and then now. It works perfectly. But that only lasts a second. It's like cooking all day and then takes two minutes to eat the food, you know. Sorry. We're learning about me here. We're self <laughs> actualizing. I don't know. Exploring. When, when, we, when we realized that Planet wasn't showing up, we're like, we'll just do a short episode. <laughs> That's funny. We just cut this off halfway through. <laughs> well, it's right in the middle of a rant. <laughs> it's live too, yeah. I'm sorry for the live. Thing. And then another time. <laughs> and then, you know, springboard. The Treyarch. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll have and to make like a, a, decade a healing a healing podcast where we can talk about these things safely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, safer than this I don't have any sharp objects at hand I can't <laughs> see them <laughs> true alright you weirdos whoever's still here <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching and listening and hanging out with us um, hopefully we'll get BitPlanet back to talk about the game and get to ask all the questions we wanted to and if you have any send them our way we'll, we'll fit them in but um yeah, check out the game. I think it'll be fun. If you like old school pilot wings, I'm sure everyone yeah. already knows that from like the first game, maybe, but it's it's pretty tight. Yeah, if you don't if you haven't played the first one and you're interested, like this is your first time seeing this, you can normally get the first one, if not free on sale or like I don't know, like maybe I'm thinking wrong, but you can get it pretty cheap normally. And I'm not saying it's bad, like it's good, it's just been around a while so jump in there check it out if you like that then get this this just has more of everything and it's you know they learn shit and things improve and yeah and now you're shooting balloons with a handgun out of a gyro cop <laughs> why not come on <laughs> it's that or go to therapy I mean I don't know <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for hanging out. Again, this was episode 115. I'm PJ. I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm walking. Look like a band aid. I'm trying to do an X over my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening. <laughs>